Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to draw shape with the relative polar coordinate. So we want to draw we want to draw shape like this. So before start start drawing, let's check three things. First, let's go to the application button on the top left, click it, and check the drawing utilities and the unit so we want to select the engineering engineering type for the unit so this is going to be a unit with inch click ok the second thing we want to check the the grid how to dis display the grid so at the bottom of your screen you see the grid sign right click it and select grid setting we want to keep the grid spacing one by one. So it is already one by one. So let's keep it. So the third thing we want to decide how to display the coordinates. So usually we want to keep keep a Cartesian coordinate. So in the command window, let's type in coords. Select coordinates. So usually we need to type in y to keep to keep the coordinates, the Cartesian coordinate. Now let's start the drawing. So we want to make some analysis of this shape, right? So we decide it. The point from A to B have the length six. So and B to C have five, and C to D have the length three. So we already labeled all the lines so along the line. So let's start drawing it for the relative polar co coordinate. We should use at plus the lines and then put the angle. Angle is less than sine. And then we put the, the angle degree. So let's Click the line command, randomly select the first point A and select it here. So right now, I need to decide the B point here, right? We have the length 6, let's type in at 6. So we need to type in the angle. Angle sign is less than sign. Angle. And then we need to design angle because this is along positive x direction so it's going to be zero let's enter okay we finished the first line from a to b now let's do the second line from b to c so we know the length is five let's type in at five so type in angle sign less than sign so we know that is along the y-axis so this is going to be positive 90 degree so type in 90 press enter okay we finish the second line so right now let's draw the line from c to d so we type in at the length is 3 and uh, angle so this is going to be a negative x axis so the angle is going to be 180 let's enter so we finish the uh, cd line so let's do the following line d to e so we know the length is 4 let's have, have him at 4 and uh, angle angle should be negative 90 or 270 is the same because it's along negative one axis so let's time in negative 90 okay so we finished d to e let's do e to f so type in add length two 
less than sine, this is for angle, so it's negative x-axis, so it's going to, go, going to be 180 degree, like that, I mean. So let's do f to g. So similarly, we type in add and length to angle 90. Let's do the line from G to H. We have the length 1, and we add 1, less than sign, and the angle. The angle is along negative x-axis. It's going to be next, it's going to be 180. Okay, the last line is G H to A. So we have the length. 3 angle so this is along the negative y axis is going to be negative 90 so let's right click and select enter and now we finish the shape thank you very much for your watching, if you have any question, please feel free to let me know.